So before I get going with some of the social media banter that everyone had during the race, because there was times where we had to sit down and go on our phones because there was a red flag, there were safety cars. If you haven't watched the race, go and watch it because I strongly suggest, even though you may think, okay, it's Azerbaijan, it's Baku, last year was terrible. Trust me when I say you have to go and watch this entire race because it just, you just never knew what was going to unfold next. This was actually done before the race began. Grace Wilco said, Lewis on the grid tomorrow, knowing it's the last time he'll see his competitors for two hours. And it's that very famous Harry Potter going off in the train, like the waving like to his, his parents, which is really good. But did it happen? Oh no. Harry Potter's parents were dead, so Harry Potter wasn't oh. waving to his parents. But... Well, he might have been you know, imagining his parents there. You never know. So before the start of the race, we tweeted on WTF1 saying, tweet your crazy predictions and we'll retweet the funniest ones. And Williams came in and said, Mariah Carey to lap everyone because she was there this weekend. So Williams, as do most of the F1 teams, getting involved in the good old jokes. Fake Charlie Whiting, which is a great Twitter account. If you don't follow it, I'd strongly suggest you do. Was talking about the Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton incident where Lewis Hamilton slowed down and then to the back went Vettel lost a bit of his front wing he saw absolute red swerve to the left and then just turned into him so that they collided wheels <coughs> Vettel got a penalty deservedly Hamilton didn't get any punishments for his slowing down because it was seen potentially that he had brake checked him and fake Charlie Whiting came in and went uh, Seb what did I do and said incredible I'd give him another 10 second penalty just for that comment. Because Vettel actually came over the team radio and said, what, what did I do? There was no dangerous driving. It's like, sorry, are you driving that car? F1 on NBC Sports using a GIF that I've used before. Here's our quick fire GIF highlights of the Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan GP so far. And it's one of those really strange Japanese game shows where there's explosions going in the background and then this costume character just running. And it's a really, accurate representation to what was going on in the race. Matsal89, uh, he featured I think in the last reactions video saying, people who went for a pee break some minutes ago, and it's the gift for the guy of the pizza boxes walking into a burning house. Because literally that, that was, like, you, you could not leave your sofa to what, like, just to make a cup of tea or anything apart from obviously the red flag. Because it just everywhere, like Ocon and Perez collided. I mean, if I was doing a highlights or a review of the whole race, I guarantee I'd miss about 40 moments purely because it was so hard to keep up with. A picture I took, it was lap 34 of 51. And I said, who would have guessed this leaderboard at this stage in the race? And it went Ricardo, Stroll, Magnussen, Ocon, Alonso, the top five. Just before this, the top eight were all different teams. Like there wasn't any teammates anywhere near each other. So the top eight at some points, even Magnussen was in a podium position for what, at some point. It's like, what is going on? Uh, so obviously on Twitter, Twitter and social media at the moment, the whole something is lava. That's like a very popular thing that's going on right now. And Racing Humor said, having an undamaged car is lava because everyone seemed to have something wrong with it. Raikkonen had a puncture or a wing falling off or hanging off. Bottas obviously at the start as well with his puncture. Just everything was going wrong. Okay, Tommy said from WTF1, uh, Montreal will be the worst debrief of the year. Force India, hold my Kingfisher. <laughs> Terrible time to start a drink there. <laughs> because if you haven't, if you didn't know, Montreal, obviously, Perez knock on had the team orders thing, and then it just went even worse this time out. There was a massive collision. Perez out the race. Ocon dropped all the way to the, pretty much the back of the, the remaining runners to then get back into a podium. Like if he hadn't had that issue, I think Ocon could have actually won the race. So less from the jokey side, Alex Gillen said, Wow, Vettel almost denying he hit Hamilton. Why not hold your hands up and say you made a mistake? He's lost some respect today. And fair enough, that's, that's the point I have to agree with. And then Son of More came in and said, worse than that, he suggested, <laughs> worse than that, he suggested hitting Hamilton was to be expected after the brake test. That's what he said in his interview. And he was like, yeah, what do you expect after him brake checking me? It's like, sorry, are we like school kids in a playground? Well, he hit me, so I'm gonna hit him. Like, that's not how it works in Formula One. And I personally thought that Vettel should get a race ban. Like, that was intentional turning into someone. What do you guys think? Oh, there's going to be some serious fire in the comments now after that. In my opinion, people are allowed opinions, okay? Let's do the, the things that I can remember. Verstappen, he had another unreliable 
weekend, blew up, or didn't blow up, but his car stopped. He could have won the race easily, but he was out of the race. Alonso was up in sixth at some point, and then he was down to ninth. And Shock, complaining about Team Radio again. Alonso loves to complain about lack of power. Hamilton had a problem with his headrest, so he had to come into the pits from the lead, winning by an absolute country mile, sailing away, but then had to come in. They stuck it down with gaffer tape, and then he went back out. Otherwise, he would have won the race easy peasy, hands down. Vettel, 10 second stop go penalty for being a bit of a dick if I'm honest, uh, on the racetrack and turning into to Hamilton with that incident. Bottas got a puncture with Raikkonen at the start of the race. He was a lap down. He, got, he unlapped himself in the first safety car and finished second. What? Perez, Ocon, they collided. Ocon kind of turned into him. It definitely was Ocon's fault. Like, he, he made the move, but then just squeezed him. And then like, there was always going to be contact. So Ocon, unfortunately, made a little bit of an error there. But uh, I'm, I, I can imagine the debrief is going to be pretty salty. Renault, Palmer, car blew up and like five, ten laps into the race. Shock, you know, just to be expected really, isn't it, with, uh, with, with Palmer at the moment. Hulkenberg, he hit the wall, which was unfortunate. He was running in a solid points paying position. Probably could have won the race. Who knows? But he turned in too early. Just... Knocked his suspension straight out. Stroll, finish. Well, he was literally second up until the line where Bottas got in with DRS. That was uh, unfortunate for him. Stroll could have won the race. I mean, at one point he was like a second behind. And I was like, right, Stroll's actually going to win a Grand Prix. Like, he only just scored his first points and now he's like in contention to win the race. That was amazing. Everyone was just losing their minds. Massa, yeah, unfortunate for him. He had an issue with his car bouncing up and down. I think he had something wrong with the suspension or something. But basically, yeah, his car was, was pretty much damaged as were most cars in the race. But yeah, he had to retire as well. Otherwise, he could have won the race. Haas, Grosjean had an issue with his brakes the whole weekend. He said it was for him to improve, but then it seemed like there was actually an issue with the car. And Magnussen was doing really, really well, but then kind of dropped off at the end because he was in a podium position and then ended up, not sure. Don't actually know where he ended up, but... Bless him. Oh yeah, signs spun at the start, tried to avoid his teammate who apparently was coming on like a madman and then just lit up the rear tyres and just spun. He's a Formula 1 driver, come on. Sorry for signs fans, really sorry. Please don't hurt me in the, in the comments, thank you. I think that pretty much sums it up. So that has pretty much been the Azerbaijan Grand Prix Internet's best reactions video. If you had any that I didn't include or any comments about the race, especially all of the different incidents, then make sure you get involved in the fire and feud that is the comments section below. But I just strongly suggest you go and watch it if you have and if you're at this stage of the video, I've just ruined everything for you. But I did warn you at the start. If you want to watch another video, however, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And that's pretty much it. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. And the shop. Click here. <laughs> I'm Matt with WTF1. Whee! That's going to be the one you're going to use, isn't it? Now? Right.